What's up, everybody? Appreciate you tuning in for another video. This is my first Golden Gloves competition. Um, it was held in Maryland, but it's the Virginia slash North Carolina region. Uh, yeah, I just touched down over there at the hotel. This is me shadow boxing. It was a three hour car ride. So as soon as I got out of the car, I needed to get my blood flowing and stretch out a little bit. But um, yeah, this is gonna be the first fight. I'm gonna post the two other fights in separate videos so I can give you kind of a, a breakdown. That way it's not a crazy long video. But um, this is just kind of like the little, the little vlog before the fight. The fight's in the second half of the video. But um, yeah, so I appreciate y'all watching and uh, I'll catch y'all. Well, didn't make weight. I'm, uh, I'm at 179. I got a weigh in at 176. So you know what that means. I'm tired. I'm hungry as shit. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Watch me make this weight. A little hack to lose the weight quicker. Put that shit on heat. This is the highest it can go. Man, I don't need the fan blowing when I'm trying to lose this shit. You know what I'm saying? about seven miles I didn't eat shit today I had a salad and protein water that was it and I still didn't make weight Fuck. it's cool just three pounds I'm pretty sure I burned it all off if not I'll shed the, all the other extra shit uh, overnight when I sleep and then weigh-ins are tomorrow at 8 a.m. So I'll wake up early, check my weight, see where I'm at, go from there. But damn, that is no joke. Running off of fumes, but that's the fight world. Weight cutting is not easy, and shit, I'm only cutting 10 pounds. Imagine all the other athletes cutting like 30 plus, 40 pounds, you know what I'm saying? Of course that's done over weeks, sometimes months of, of progression. I only really prepared for this for about two weeks, just switched up my diet, had my mom help me out a bit. She's a nutritionist. I'm lucky I have that part of my life. And I was still overweight. God damn it. I'm learning though. I'm getting better, figuring this whole thing out. I feel good though. That's the most important thing. I used to get headaches and have trouble sleeping um, while I was doing this whole thing but I feel totally fine. Just finished this workout. It was about 45 minutes, maybe closer to an hour. Um, and I, I feel good. I'm ready for tomorrow. We'll see what happens, but uh, see y'all at the fight. We made it, y'all. Started at 179, burned those three pounds. Overnight, I shed another pound. This was the breakfast I had after I weighed in. I was starving. But we about to get into the fight, baby. We here. I was so ready. Like, I've never been so confident in a fight out of all the fights that I've had so far. This was my most confident one. I don't know. I felt like nothing can phase me. And I can kind of tell that my opponent was nervous. I don't know if it was his first fight or whatever. But yeah, you can see me jumping around. I was just ready to go. But I knew to still, to still be careful. Never gonna jump out there, you know, going crazy right off the jump. I gotta learn to conserve my energy. And this guy was a southpaw, so actually my the, my first two losses were from southpaws. So I knew I needed to make some real adjustments. 
but I could tell he was he was being real hesitant. Mm. Those are some good shots. Head movements there. I was just trying to pick my shots the whole fight. I didn't want to go well out and go crazy. I didn't want to, like what Izzy says, I don't throw in hope, I aim and fire. That's what I was trying to do, trying to pick every shot. I still gotta pick my fucking left hand up. I don't know why I do that as I have it. That's a good head movement there. Yeah, I kept I kept hitting him and he wasn't really doing much. So the ref gave him an eight count. And like I said, I just that only increased my confidence. I was like, alright, I'm gonna take this dude out. I'm over here, flinching at him and everything. And then the ref told me to keep my head up, which I think is kind of stupid. I mean, you know, it's just head movement. Like, I'm going to go down, up, left, right, any direction and get out the fucking way. But it is what it is. Get some body shots in there. My, the whole time, my coach is telling me, hit the body, hit the body. Boom, that's the first round. All right. Second round, I'm not going to lie. I was a little tired. <laughs> Um, that run was catching up to me, but I was just trying to conserve my energy. Like I said, pick my shots. I, I clipped him with a little left hook right there. Y'all saw that? Knocked him off his balance. See, he's just wailing at me. I don't even think he he sees what he's throwing at. And I just let him tire himself out. You can see I'm, I'm already kind of slowing down a little bit. I was like, all right, let me lay off the gas a little bit. Get my energy back up. I probably could have taken him out first round, though, if I'm being honest. I got to get my stamina up, though. That was good body work right there. Anything that you see that I should work on, leave it down in the comments, man. I'm, I'm open to everything. I'm, I need to learn as much as I can. I know I got to pick up my damn left hand. Ooh, good two. Mmm, there it is again. Mmm, uppercut. Mmm, two again. That was good. He wobbly right there. See, I need to do a better job at sniffing the blood out and going out on the attack. Like, knowing when to go in for the kill. I'm, like, I'm, I'm chilling right now. He's tired. He's hurt. I should have just went for the kill right there. But I was tired too, shit. You can see, look at that punch. That's, that's a lazy punch. I think he just kind of slipped right there. See, so you can just, you can tell I'm getting a little tired. Okay, yeah, there he goes. He gave him another eight count. Look at him, he tired as shit. This shit is not easy. It is tiring, yo. Yeah, I'm looking over at my coach. He's like, just chill, the, the round's about to be over. Boom, there goes the bell. Third round, I was like, okay. I know I got him, I know I can stop him. So I just, like I said, I just went straight to him, trying to find, pick those, those shots. That was a good weave. He told me not to hit him in the back, but I don't know. That's, it is what it is. This ain't professional. It's amateur, so there's not much you can do about that. Yeah, he, he just kind of running around me. He didn't want to, you know, infight with me. He was just kind of Throwing and moving, throwing and moving. Those body shots that I was hitting him with, I could tell that was making him tired. There he goes, telling me to keep my head up again. Look at him, he is tired. 
Boom. Boom. And that's what did it right there. Yeah, it's just, it's too visible that he's exhausted. The ref gave him, that was the third eight count, and yeah, he just waves it right there. I was happy I got a TKO. <laughs> it was a good fight. Respect to my opponent. It's hard to get in the ring, man. Um, I think that was one of his earlier fights, so I definitely get the nerves. To be honest, I wasn't nervous at all this fight. I I do get nervous, but this fight, I was just ready to go. I wanted to make it to the finals. And, but yeah, appreciate everybody watching. Um, I'm going to post the second fight in the next video, and uh, I'll see y'all then.